Hey guys, this is Seth here with more Plague Inc. Evolved, and as I said before in the previous episode, believe it or not, there's still a little bit more... We're about the halfway mark now. Actually, I think this is the half... Yeah. But I love how even now I'm still, like, thinking, oh wait, this is the halfway mark. But yet, yeah, this is... about the ha This is the halfway point of the uh, various plagues that are in the game, like the main ones that give you pretty much sandbox to win, I guess. But... This one is going to be a bit more interesting, I guess is the way to put it. Because the Parasite, it's not exactly... It's not exactly hard, from what I recall, but it's not exactly easy either. I, I can't remember what it was about the Parasite that turned me away from it, though. I, I can't remember. But, as always, start in India. The usual. So let's see here. SSF is a prion, a slow, subtle, and subtle and complex pathogen in the brain. It is much harder to notice and cure. Disease takes longer to react to new evolutions. So basically, what it's saying is the trick is that this time you have to contend with a slower reaction to transmissions, evolutions, etc. So it won't pick up that stuff. Now obviously, can't go for that just yet. Like th this is your main ability for the, uh... Wait, I thought it was the, the uh, Parasite. They called it the Prion? Did I accidentally pick the Prion instead of the Parasite? Hang on, I'm... I hope I'm not... I didn't misclick. I did misclick. Okay. So they, now you know what the par Prion does, I guess. The Parasite, on the other hand, is what I was trying to pick. I knew there was something strange there, like... How did I not notice that? Anyway, Parasitic Lifestyle prevents the player getting DNA points by infecting other people. DNA bubbles are the best way to get points. So basically... I can't get DNA points from an infection. However... You can make it so that the special ability is to make it so it's less likely to be noticed. So obviously you kind of want that. Yeah. But I can't believe I didn't notice that immediately. Like, that was interesting. And I don't even think I have the uh, blue bubble skill detected either. I don't think that's going to make too much of a diff difference, though. Of course, once again, that happens. Here's the first thing. The second thing is that. But I would prefer to have... Drug resistance. Gotta get that as soon as possible, you know? But obviously, since you're not going to be able to get any DNA points from infecting people, instead they gave you a lot of bubbles, so, to make up for this. So that's why, if you haven't guessed, a lot was dedicated to those, to get a lot of DNA points in them. Because you kind of do need those. But, uh, let's see here. Get that. So Symbionis, Symbiosis 3. Parasite infiltrates host brain, making it less likely to be noticed and more likely to be transmitted. Again, you're just taking out its severity. Does it like the, uh... Which one is it that slowly gets... Like, it slowly gets more severe as time passes. I cannot recall. There's one that gradually increased with severity. I think that... I can't remember which one it was. I thought it was this one, though. But yeah, obviously the number one issue at hand compared to the previous uh, plague is that this one, not as much free reign in infection. If you haven't gathered from the slow rate every that everything's going through right now. 
I like how I did get plus two DNA points still. Go figure. But... There is still one problem. That's because I don't exactly know what I'm going to do here. Obviously symptoms haven't changed, transmissions haven't changed. It's just these three. No, it's not really increasing in severity at all. At all. Here's some DNA points. Very needed ones, I might add. Get air, that should do it for that. Cause I need I need to get something here, you know? Like I, I can't really focus too much on the um the animals because they're not really that beneficial for that stuff, but go ahead, get cold resistance one. Because you know what? Greenland can kiss my ass with this game. <laughs> this game, like I said, really makes it so you hate Greenland. If you don't hate Greenland, you're, you'll hate Iceland, just because of how isolated they are. And it makes it very difficult to deal with when you're trying to get infection and stuff going. But in the real world, you know, Green, Green, Greenland's alright, you know? But in this game, yeah, it, it's kind of an issue. But, um, not really much else I can do. Not really any transfer either like the there has just been nothing in terms of uh red bubbles yet it's not much i can do about that at the moment I'm trying to think though i mean we'll see but huh there's a bubble right there, very needed one. But I don't think it really would help for anything at all. What I want to do is go for a little bit more resistance here, if possible. But I mean, huh. There we go, at least it's finally moving to other other areas. Alright, get heat resistance so that way that'll help. It'll spread a little bit quicker now in this area. Now we're seeing now we're seeing progress. That's what I like to see. It might be wise to get uh, symbiosis three as well. To be quite honest, that would really come in handy. But it's going to depend on the DNA points I get. Good news though is that it does seem like we're getting... Oh yeah, we're definitely getting progress. Definitely getting progress. And now I can finally get Symbiosis 3, which means... Now it'll transmit it more easily. 